heart. Can you imagine? And she loves, she, she muses that. She was able to look out from the window, and she does on a daily basis, that her ancestors looked out of a thousand years ago. Can you? It's amazing altogether. How are you? This is Cormac Campbell, of course. Um, I, I, I'm not so bad, Ron, but I, ha I have to say, in the words of Frano, Yes. I have a bone to pick with you. You have a bone to pick? I have a bone to pick with you. Well, would you like to do me beard? Do your beard. I'm ready for you now. Well, you know, uh, I've been speaking to you last week about your winter warmth play. You were, right? you Pe were. People, people have had great fun with this in work. Right? Why? Why? Because I arrived back to the office having talked to you about the winter warmth pledge, but you'd sold me down the river for another. No! You'd sold me down the river. This has been on the wall of our office for a week. No! Right? This, right? No! I, no! No! Da, 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 da. no. Right? What happened? I, I'll even do it in a rowing voice. What happened? I'll, I'll do it in a rowing voice. Right, you go for it. I really value the contribution made by Cormac. Is that my voice? His important qualities of focused angularity go a long way to making your paper what it is. Excellent. Excellent. However, I equally value the sensitivity of Ryan Sands, the Phil Coulter piece, and wonder if that sensitivity might lend itself to better cover the Winter Warmth Pledge story. Dumped or was? Dumped. Do you know why? Huh? Do you remember you made the phone call to me about it? What was that? About the story. Huh? You said, I'm coming over to talk to you and your cronies. You didn't even know what the story was, dear boy. <laughs> <laughs> Get on with it. We'll, call it. we'll call it, we'll call it quits and we'll move on. That was lovely praise of you. <laughs> however. It was, um, no, however. It was good no, praise however. of you. Right. <laughs> Um, on the front page... The what about the Salvation Army? What, yeah, um, last week we discussed how the Salvation Army uh, church on Trevor Hill was closing. It appears that is not the case. Um, for want of a better word, an uh, uh, interestingly worded press release uh, is where the mistake <laughs> arose. The, the press release said, Salvation I Army moving out from Trevor Hill. Um, but uh, they're moving out. They're, they're outreaching <laughs> yeah. from Trevor Hill. So confusion cleared up this week. <laughs> I'm just laughing. Piece. I can't help get over the laughter of of that thing on your wall for a week. Yeah, that's that Philip Paul Welsh is a dreadful fellow to do the <laughs> like of that. It's he you should pick the bone with. I tell you, Walsh, dear boy. What are you at? <laughs> right, where are we going? With this uh, obviously, we're coming up to Christmas time. Yeah. And, mm. uh, one of the, the things that is very prevalent is in relation to pets and animals mm. and the treatment of yeah. animals. Yeah. And there's two stories this week that really reinforce that. On our front page, we have the story of uh, Peggy, an abandoned dog who was yeah. found in Ballyhole. In you first did that story about a month ago. Extremely. Three weeks well, it's, ago. it's a follow on yeah. of how she is. Oh, absolutely. How she's, absolutely. Getting she's doing well. So she's doing well. Um, now, that should be coupled with, uh, with a story on page 10. Uh, both by the aforementioned sensitive soul, Ryan Sands. Um, <laughs> so are, you what, are you frightened of your focused angularity? Oh, no. I tell uh, you, you, you're, you make knees uh, so knock. On, on page 10 uh, is uh, that horses uh, euthanized in council yeah. care in the last year. Oh, they should just kill so them. Six horses have been put down whilst in the care of Newry Moore District Council over the last year. So much like the dogs oh. issue, horses need yeah. to be cared for and it is a big commitment mm. so coming up to Christmas if people are considering no horses that, no dogs uh, if they're not going to look after them properly don't, do don't even think about it I remember a time and I, I, I called it the house of death on the hill on the road out to Points Pass it was a, uh, kind of alone and up to the house mm. and it stood there and that's where the USPCA in those days took creatures to be euthanized right. and they were put into a into a pen uh, like a trap that they couldn't move forward, move back. There was an electrode attached to the ear and an electrode attached to the tail and the switch was pulled and that's how they did it. And that was within the last 20 years, you know. And so all we, of we that can be avoided if people are more responsible. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, our second story on the front page is of the incident at Warren Point Harbour yesterday. Yes. Where there was fears that mm. a grain ship could go up in flames mm. um, and the response to that so uh, thankfully that didn't happen uh, now it has been a difficult fortnight for the harbour obviously mm. there was an oil spill with mm. the follow-up on where mm. that is at the moment there's some details in relation to exactly mm. what happened mm. no details however in relation to how much oil mm. got pumped into mm. Carlingford Lock the only thing there I just noted it in the press yesterday 
the RSPB, the, R the Royal Society for the Protection of Birds mm -hmm. had said uh, yesterday that no damage was done to their, the creatures mm -hmm. that they care for. And today, the, what's it called? The, the, the Northern Ireland Fire and Rescue Service fellow, the head of that, said that the plan in place, and I think we should be very grateful for this, that the plan in place in Warren Point Port for such an emergency had uh, had operated seamlessly was the word he used. So thank thank. Well, for seamlessly that. or not, we're still left with a lot of oil. Yes, uh, but it's you know you know it's been dealt with, yeah. and I think it w it would be remiss not to acknowledge that people oh, are dealing with it and that the plans do seem to yeah. work. I mean, we have a big industrial harbour. It's there, there are going to be difficulties. Absolutely, um, absolutely. We're very lucky that it hasn't happened, you know. And at the same time, we're very places. lucky to have an industry like the harbour in the area. At the and so and really, record figures last year. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, one thing that affects us all, I guess, is at one time or another, we all no, have to go to... Put to that away, would you? <laughs> you get drawn back to it. No, you should be forced <laughs> to look at it. You should be forced <laughs> to look at it. You're, um, you know, Torquemada, that's who you are. We, we, we You're definitely have, Torquemada. We all have to visit the hospital on occasion, some of us, yeah. unfortunately, more than others. Mm. And... The, the story is that ped parking at Daisy Hill Hospital could be set for a 20% increase by December. Mm. So we've got the, what could be happening, why it's happening, etc. Mm. Um, now, another uh, issue, we've spoken before about the, the will forgery. Oh, yeah, yeah, and the, yeah. the pub in question, Larkin's mm. pub, is currently for sale. However, in the past week, mm. some graffiti has been daubed on the wall relating to the case. Um, so Don McMahon's been looking into exactly what was written and uh, the response mm. to that. Um, Ryan's also been looking at, we talked about the sale, proposed sale of Jennings Park. Yes. That created a mm. huge Ferrari uh -huh. residence uh -huh. at the meadow area of the city and, and, and further afield. And this week a petition was handed over to Council Chief Executive Eddie Curtis. Um, so there's a picture of some of the, the people involved mm. in the collection of the names for mm. the petition and their objections and wh where things are headed mm. now in relation we to... Had, we had three councillors here yesterday, Ruan, uh, Carr and Taylor. Each of them said it was going nowhere because the people mm. didn't want it to happen. Well, we'll wait until the official vote is taken. I think we will. Chamber. We've seen these things before, have we, we not? We have, indeed. Um, everyone's opposed to things until they're for them. Absolutely. Uh, um, now, I was going to feature this heavily, but I'm not too <laughs> sure now. Is the, the call to spread winter warmth. Yeah, that's some story. Um, <laughs> that's what you're doing with it. <laughs> right, well, with the bright evenings, this is the sensitivity yeah. of the story. This is how Ryan wrote it and how but I, I wrote told, it. I told Ryan, I, what I was concerned about in doing this story was that it couldn't be written in a way that would have made me the focal point on it. So he's got around it that way to, a, to an extent. But it's importantly, I'm, I'm talking to the two members of, two members of the St. Vincent de Paul after you here, mm -hmm. and they'll be detailing the extent of the need in the area. And believe it is a very, very substantial oh, it's, need. It's massively significant, and it's a beautiful idea. Yeah, but it's, um, it's a, just uh, one of these ideas that come after the second bottle of Rioja, you know, <laughs> or something like that. No, not quite, but I mean, it's uh, the need is great. And these fellows and of the St. Vincent de Paul... That's how you know if you're one of the, the people who can afford to give the money away, if you're having Rioja instead of Blue Nun. <laughs> no, do you remember Blue Nun? <laughs> Goodness. And then there was Black Tower a long time. I don't drink anymore now, so it's a different, it's a different ball game. But uh, the, uh, the, the notion of those people of the St. Vincent de Paul going out on Monday nights, uh, traipsing around the roads of Newry, calling at homes of people who need... The stories that they bring to you, it's, uh, it's frightening in our poverty in Uri at the moment. So anyway, that's that. Where are we going um, now? Planning uh, powers, obviously, mm. are transferring to the new council in mm. April. And a report presented to new, our councillors of the new authority I said that uh, 21 members of the new Uri Moran and Down planning committee will have to deal with up to 100 planning applications a month. Now, mm. the difference in the past is the current planning committee, which mm. it meets on Thursday, Council is a mere consultee, but in the new system, they are the decision maker. So the mm. responsibilities that go with that are tremendous. Uh, there's a, a list of rules in, uh, for members as long as you're armed. Uh, people mightn't be aware, but henceforth, uh, they will not be able to discuss or lobby uh, members of the planning committee in relation to their planning application or something they're opposing. 
Uh, mm -hmm. So it is a, a big change now. Also, in relation to that, the workload is going to be sizable, given the fact that at present, between Newry and Morn and down district councils, mm. there are currently 977 live planning applications, 647 of which are in the existing Newry and Morn area. So um, if you imagine 977 uh, buildings being built or adaptions to buildings or all those things that require planning mm. commission if all those things were done at once uh, you might be waiting a while to get uh, the builder mm. to fix the leak in your roof oh, um, yes, yes, so yes. there is uh, I suppose on one side it's probably positive indication that uh, the building industry is returning to uh -huh. some form of normality but well, uh, good normality for uh, O'Hare and McGovern they turn the sod today in the new school they're building, 25 million, in Edinburgh. So a Newry firm reaching out to Edinburgh and building a school there, you know. I'm going to lead you into your next bit, maybe. Oh. And this is what I said in the news, in the ticker bar. It's the Newry Reporter Day, and Cormac Campbell joins me in studio. What's happening locally? Lifting the lid on intrigue, the courts, of course. And Campbell's favourite, history, sport. And boxing in particular. Boxing, beautiful. What? A, that lovely. That voice. Huh? It's just wonderful. Do you get much voice over work? Oh, not half enough. Not I half tell enough. you. Should be. Will you be my agent? I want an well, agent. Yeah. We need an agent here. That would be good. Well, so listen, where are you taking me? Are we heading towards sport? Uh, one more story. Yeah. Uh, and then sport. We're fine. Uh, the arts industry at the moment seems to be thriving. With with mm. two stories uh, on the uh, the arts and drama page. One in relation to local actress Valine Kane, mm. who will be taking on one of the lead roles in the new series of The Fall, which mm. starts on RTE on Sunday and I believe uh, BBC next Thursday. Mm. So it's a big role for a local actress. I think she's also in 71, which is the movie that's in the cinemas at present. So uh, we're, we've got a, a new uh, person to join the likes of the Lynches and, uh, yes. and, and such at, yes, at the yes. top table of... Uh, yeah. Uh, and is this a person who has come through the traditional route in your well, uh, new um, point? She's, um, you know, Val Cain. I do. It's his daughter. Ah, for goodness sake. Yeah. yeah. DJ's niece. Yeah. Absolutely. So, um, it's good. Val's daughter. Uh, oh, one yeah. of the other stories is uh, Ali McKenzie. He would have done a lot of work experience in The Reporter when he was uh, Ali coming through college. He's from Bestbrook, originally from Aberdeen, but grew up yeah. in Bestbrook. Yeah. Uh, now he's got into filmmaking and he's currently in Tokyo. Uh, making a documentary about uh, mod culture. You would have been a mod, or were you a rocker, Rowan? You went, you went through both phases. You flitted with the wind, whatever was... Uh, <laughs> yeah, so Ali's making a documentary, or working on a documentary, along with a, a team of others in Tokyo. So uh, he also, he burst an uncanny resemblance to the actor Rupert Grint who played Ron Weasley in Harry Potter, and he was actually stopped, obviously he was surrounded by cameras in mm. uh, Tokyo, and a bunch of uh, Japanese schoolgirls surrounded him and demanded their photo be taken with the star of Harry Potter. <laughs> Reminds me of what Harrington, the golfer, said during the week. I always want to be the one that's kept at the end of the game for an hour signing autographs. If I'm only there for five minutes, I know it's not going yeah, well. It's over. Right, where are we going now? Uh, in the sport, yeah? Straight to boxing because people should be yes, aware should of this. Yes, should be aware of This boxing. morning, if you turn on, um, if you search for the European Youth Championships, uh, 11 a.m. roughly, Arn Kettle will be boxing for a Our European own. medal. Is he the chap who has to decide between boxing and football? No, that's Fergus uh, Quinn. That's Fergus, yeah. So yeah, another, yeah. Uh, uh, Arn Kettle, it's a bit of a furry tale. Originally, he been, hadn't been selected for the Irish team. At the last minute, mm. got uh, word that uh, his coach, Gavin Dugan's appeal had been successful. Uh, the fast track the visa so he could go to uh, Russia. Within a day of getting his visa, he was on the plane flying to Anapa in Russia. Uh, he boxed yesterday against the Danish champion and won all three rounds. Wow. So he's now through to the quarterfinals. If he wins today, I think it's a Moldovian opponent he's facing today. He uh, will have a bronze medal at least with the chance to win silver or gold. Okay, that's good. He's so, a good fellow. Uh, also, Paddy Murphy uh, from Clockray, who's based in Brisbane, fights for the Australian Wild. Yes, I saw that, yeah. yeah he, he was in here with us a year ago when that other fellow, uh, Tyson, Tyson Fury, Fury yeah. was here. So yeah. things are going well for Paddy. Yeah. fights on okay. Saturday night. Okay, uh, in wrap terms me up of there. Wrap you up. Uh, Dawson delight for Jim. So that's uh, Brian's for manager. Frank Dawson mm. has come on board as Downs under twenty one football manager. Mm. Now Frank Dawson would have been one of the other names uh, people for would have widely game. mentioned. Yeah, for the, for big the big game job. Yeah. So that's quite a high profile manager mm. and under twenty one manager mm -hmm. uh, team that Down now have, and things are looking positive. I don't know if it yeah. should. 
statement, huh? Ah, we will. I don't know if you should. Ah, we will. As long as it's accompanied by an apology. Ah, we will. <laughs> I, I really want to tell you, he is a man of focused angularity always. And he's got a soft side too, I think, yes. Onward, uh, onward we go. Coming shortly, Vincent de Paul. Destination Yuri. Keep it on. We're back in moments. Hello, welcome to JFC Mobile, your number one mobile phone shop. Hold on. Hello, who's this? <laughs> 